right. Bye, man. I'll see you there. Remember to wear a suit, Vigo. Can't have you dressed like a bum in the church. Time to empty the bed pans. You have arrived. I work three jobs. Hi, Nico. Hey, Kate. I am sorry to hear about your brother. You're probably the only one. He was too much of a cop for my family to accept him and too much of a gangster to be accepted by the cops. What did you think about him? To be honest, I thought this would have happened earlier. Then again, I expect to get a call from the coroner about any one of my brothers every day. You going to be at the funeral? Sure. I'll see you there, Kate. Goodbye. Calculating route. Turn right.
And while no one is suggesting he was an angel, none of us are. <laughs> that is why God put us on earth and not in heaven. The trials of humanity were sometimes too much for him to bear. But he was a committed family man and a man of beliefs. God asks us to show faith, and that is what he did in his way. Francis gave so much of himself and will be sorely missed by us all. Amen. 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 Now, if you will all please join me in the procession to the cemetery. I'm uh, sorry for your loss. I'm not. I'm sorry for Ma. I gave up on my brothers a long time ago. Most I ever expected from them was to put flowers on their coffins. Hmm. You have a strange family. Who doesn't? I don't know. Oh my God! Get the hell out of the way! Now, is there? This must be a hard day for you, Packy. I'm sorry. Hi, Nico. Hey, Kate. I am sorry to hear about your brother. You're probably the only one. He was too much of a cop for my family to accept him, and too much of a gangster to be accepted by the cops. What did you think about him? To be honest, I thought this would have happened earlier. Then again, I expect to get a call from the coroner about any one of my brothers every day. You going to be at the funeral? Sure. I'll see you there, Kay. Goodbye. To Liberty Lane. This is it. Thanks a lot.
send more of the bastards! Ain't no more McCreary's ending up And my brother are getting out of here. Frankie's plot is in the graveyard on Colony Island, Nico. Can we put him in the ground? <laughs> Shit, we lost the back door! Don't lose my brother, too! So easy there, Nico! I think we finally lost him. Shit, I never thought I'd be on the run from some Albanian gangsters with a cop in the car. Can we call for backup or something? Are you suggesting that I'm a fucking cop? I thought that you would know better than that. No, you dumb European uh... fuck! I met my brother, Francis. It was a joke. Hell of a fucking time to be making jokes about your dead brother. You know, I'm still not that fond of the guy, even in his death. I guess that's what turning cop will do to a fraternal relationship. I guess you've got enough brothers to hate one of them. Swiftly running out, Nico. Ain't got that many left. Now that Francis is on his way to the graveyard and Gerald is behind bars, all I got left is that smackhead Derek. You've got Katie. I could have fucking guessed you'd bring her up. I was thinking you only kept those hitmen away from the church to protect my sister. I did it all for you. Sure you did, Nico. Tell yourself you did it out of the grace of your own heart, rather than for another piece of your anatomy. Which ain't gonna get used, I might add. All right, we're fucking here. Let's bury this bastard. Thanks, Nico. What for? Guys like you don't like cops. Being here, helping us out, I appreciate it. It's not that I don't like cops. You do what you do to get by. Cops are just regular guys trying to survive. Anyway, I'm not here for Francis. I'm here for you and Packy. Like I said, thanks. Give me a call sometime, Nico. Jerry, I heard you've been locked up. I'm sorry to hear that. We gotta discuss something. Put you on the visit list here. Come down.
facts are not feelings, friend. Hi. Hey, man. Remember me? Sure, the crack smoking American dream. I'm clean, man. Oh, what a ride. Yeah, you look good. I feel good. Good. I sank as far as a man can sink when you're given blowjobs at 10 bucks a pop so you can score your next rock. And I have an Ivy League education. Jesus, what a disgrace. But I'm over that now. I'm engaged. Hey, congratulations. Hey. I owe you, man. I mean, I was a dick, but I'm making up for it. I was a loud mouth dick, and I apologize. Hey, apology accepted. Don't worry about it. Listen, I gotta go pay off one of my dealers. Make things right. Would you come with me? I hate to ask, but I'm afraid the temptation might get to me. Please. Sure. Awesome. I need a vehicle. They're over on Onion, just off Asparagus Avenue. What are you doing? I asked my sponsor to come along, but he says this is something I gotta do without him. Thanks for helping me, dude. Do not mention it. This is step number nine in the program. I'm making amends to all those I harm. Expensive process. Could be. That said, it's a lot harder to ask people to write off the emotional debts than the financial ones. My problem hurt a lot of people. Hey, idiot! That's them. Do you mind waiting here? You're pretty dumb for a banker. You forgot about interest, bitch! Trust the higher power. Trust the HP. Stay down! Thanks, dude. I'm glad you were here for me. Take me back to my place on Wappinger? Are you upset that you couldn't make amends? Step nine's a tough one. Not everyone wants you to get better. I'll talk about it in group. You have to have the serenity to accept the things you cannot change, the courage to change the things you can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Right, dude? I mean, that makes sense. I just can't always live it. That is a healthy attitude. Thanks for everything. Here's a token of my gratitude. Stay safe. For fuck's sake, is everyone an idiot? I wish I had a thing right now. I didn't think you guys knew each other. Nor did I. He called me up and said that you really liked me and wanted me to be there. Is that true, Nico? I guess it is. I'll see you at the wedding then. I'm here to see Mr. Gravelli. I was sent by a mutual friend. Come on. Uh, 
have someone here to see you. Here. Oh, so you're the one who's getting involved with that nonsense for my dear friend, James Pegorino. I don't know what Spare you're... Spare me, please. I'm an old man. I ain't got much time left. Our mutual friend told me everything. Thank you. It made me <laughs> <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> people are so damn vain. Some people? <clears throat> All people. Even you, even me, an old man facing the end. And I still care. Care how I look. Care that when I shit myself, the pretty nurse has to clean it up. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, well, uh, <sighs> you know. And I care about my legacy. I've worked hard for this, this line of work. Now some Russian assholes think they can march in and take control of rackets my family has run for 50 years! <laughs> you mean 50 years of you bleeding the city dry might finally come to an end? <laughs> I know, it's a terrible <laughs> tragedy. <laughs> But if it wasn't me, it would just be someone else. So it might as well be me. Yes. Let me tell you, that faggot friend of yours, Bernie Crane, his boyfriend, he's being blackmailed by them damn Russians. They want him to put certain contracts up for tender. Windows, bus lines, cleaning, ones we control. These Russian fucking bastards are trying to finish us. What do you want me to do about it? I want you to work with me. In exchange for what? The police have a file on you an inch thick. In exchange for that. In exchange for that guy you've been asking about being brought here from wherever it is he's hiding, Switzerland or some shit. Okay, good. What do you want me to do? A good friend of mine is coming into town to give a speech on the new threat to Liberty City. Russian organized crime. I got a feeling some people ain't gonna want that speech to happen. Maybe the guy you love, this Dmitry Raskolov, has an interest in keeping this story out of the press. Make sure our boy gets to City Hall. <laughs> He's coming in from upstate. He'll be at Grand Eastern Terminal on Bismarck. <coughs> Thank you.
guys waiting for me? Nico Bellic, right? Yeah, that's me. Stay in convoy with us all the way to City Hall, all right? Sure. John, how are you? Of course. Well, I'm coming to see you as soon as I've delivered the speech. Don't say that, John. You'll be feeling like a teenager again in no time. Those are the wonders of modern medicine. I'm gonna bring up everything we discuss. When I'm done at the podium, Mayor Ochoa is gonna be dedicating half his annual budget to cleaning this problem up. <laughs> he doesn't want to start getting reckless with the lives of Liberty City voters. No, John, if it's your problem, it's my problem as well. Take a deep breath, John. Driver, why is this road closed? Is there a problem? Uh, another roadblock? This definitely wasn't mentioned on the traffic report. I'm going to go and move the barriers. Come on, Mr. Jefferson. Let's get out of here. get us to the Civic Citadel. That was a mistake they didn't want to make. If you're gonna try to take out a politician, you better take him out for sure. Thanks for the advice. American gangsters like John Gravelli under... More Russians wanting to kill you. How about that? Politicians are as crooked as a gangster. They don't understand that things are different here. Yeah, sure. You are as clean as the driven snow. I'll explain that important cultural difference to one of these Russian gangsters if our paths cross. Please make a U-turn. We're safe. Please proceed to highlight. I don't know who you are, but you got me here. Goes to show. Some immigrants have the best interest of the country in their hearts. I'll tell John you did well. Please proceed to highlighted route. Mr. Grovelli, I took that friend of yours to City Hall. He should be giving his speech any minute. Good, good. Heard you had some 
trouble along the way. You can always rely on those Russians to buy some. How are we supposed to compete with these immigrant criminals when they want it so bad? You're working with me, aren't you, Mr. Gravelli? See you later. I want to go to... A fun way to go. Great, thanks. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm sorry about your brother. Uh, me and Francis were never exactly close, but he was my brother, and it hurts. Poor bastard. He believed in something once. That's a hell of a lot better than me, I guess. <laughs> Fuck, I'll miss him. How are you? In here? Fine. Time of my life. Goddamn time of my life. What you up for? A lot of things. Racketeer and armed robbery. A bunch of shit I never did, because I was always a well-behaved family man who occasionally liked to drink, but nothing more. Of course. Like us all. Like us all. But the thing is, I think I should make some changes in my life. Stop with the drink. Put it down. Stop hanging out with the wrong sort. Can you help me do that? It is a final chance at redemption. Look, whatever you want, I will do my best to help. Good. Give Packy a call. He'll explain what, uh, I need guidance with the most. The areas where I have strayed furthest from the path. See ya. Brother told me to call you. Jerry wants us to kidnap old man Ancelotti's daughter. Some fake tan, dyed haired, Guido loving slut by the name of Grace. She's selling her tasteful pink felter on auto erotica at the moment. Get online, organize a viewing, and snatch that bitch. When you got her, bring her to a place we got on an alleyway off Sacramento. I can do that. You can do anything, Nico. Don't let her on that you're kidnapping her near her place, though. So play along with a test drive for a while to get her out of there. It's a real mobbed up area, and they'll come down on you damn heavy. Aren't you going to hell? One of my fucking brothers just got shot, and another one's in the pen. Someone's gotta be with my mom. Here we go. Thanks. You'll never touch my ass, fuckhead! I'm, uh, calling about the car. Come to my place on Babbage Drive. You don't sound like the sort of man who drives a big convertible. Well, I, I can't resist the bargain. Excuse me! Everybody run! What the fuck? This is crazy here. Check that shit out. Everyone is really going downhill. Hope you get scared with it. So, uh, can you... Right then. 
Let's do it. Thank you very much. You're the guy who calls about the car, the one with the sexy accent. <laughs> you mind if I take a test drive? You can test drive whatever you want. I love riding in cars with you European types. My family's from Italia, you know, somewhere in the south. Why don't you drive towards the south coast? We can enjoy the day. guy like you would drive something like this. You got a wife or a girlfriend or something? I'm picking this up for a friend. Yeah? What a gentleman. You don't meet guys like you in the city no more. All the good men are gone is what my dad says. Your dad sounds real old school. You and him close? Nah, not really. He's great and all. It's just I don't like his tough guy friends. I only hang out with gay guys, you know? At least they won't try and get in your pants every 10 seconds. Not that I don't like guys trying to get in my pants. I appreciate fun as much as the next girl. Maybe even more than the next girl. You having fun at the moment? Maybe too much fun. Call me Gracie, by the way. Sure thing. Gracie. Fucking call. Fuck you! That's it! Fuck when I am calling daddy, and he ain't gonna treat you as polite as I do, that's for sure. You're not calling shit, bitch. You're coming with me. You motherfucker, you sick bastard, you creep! I ain't gonna make this easy. Then I'm not going to either. I'm gonna sick of you, you creep! That makes two of us! Daddy hears about this! Daddy ain't here now! <laughs> Calm the fuck down, or little birdies will be eating your brains off the dashboard tomorrow morning. The moment I saw you, I knew you were an overcompensator, making up for your one-inch punch with fast cars and guns. No, you're not! Stupid car to try to kidnap me in! You ain't going nowhere! You're fucking with the wrong girl, asshole! I am Gracie Ancelotti, and I... Shut up! Peace, please! Yo, you wanna go down at the strip club, Mr. Menchian? No can do, Jacob. I've got a girl with me, and, uh, I don't think it would be appropriate. Let's speak soon, though, huh? Dump the car. I'll take this piece of ass. Guys, the beach better be worth the trouble. Your pa's got some serious cash. And he pissed off Gerald. That's reason enough for me. Well, they better pay quick. I hate to think of the fight she'll put up if you try to cut her fingers off. Gordon has the bitch. I'm done with her. Thanks, Nico. My brother will be a happy man. 
I'll get things in motion. Be in touch. My mistake. Hey, Tommy, check this out. Seven horse, seven race, hey, Joe Phil. What? Hey, pal, what's going on? Not too much. How are you? I'm good. Want to walk and talk? Sure. Tommy, give me a call if my big buddy calls. Tell him I went out to get some fresh air. No problem. Ridiculous! I'm a grown man walking around like a chump. I'm sorry about this. Hey, no problem. So you're a friend of Ray's? A friend? Oh, I do some work for him. No, I mean a friend. I don't understand. Whatever you say, he's a slime ball, but uh, he pays. <laughs> sure, pal, sure. Listen to me. The thing about Ray is, he's a good earner. He talks a lot of shit, but he's a good earner. I mean, he's a rat doing an impression of a man. <laughs> That's pretty good. Phil! Phil! What? What? What do you want? <coughs> Mr. Boss, said you gotta head down to docks. Emergency. Said you'd understand. Ah, oh, shit. It's three days early. Man on the meal. What am I gonna do? What's the problem? Nico, I'm gonna have to take a chance with you, pal. Okay? Come on, let's go. Okay, listen, there's a truck waiting for us. It's under the overpass off Catskill Avenue. Drive us there. You scan this thing for bucks? No, but we can be pretty sure it's clean. Chill out. All right, all right. It's just that if we get caught on this one, you and me is going down for a long time. And that means that certain people is going to assume we're rat, which means we'll get whacked. You're working with the wrong people. Expect them to whack you if you go inside. Where's the trust, Phil? It's about survival. If someone who knew what I knew got flipped, then the whole organization will go down. Whacking someone who catches some heavy time is just an insurance policy. And it don't help that not everyone in the organization is pulling in the same direction. You mean that someone in the family would see someone else going inside as an opportunity to get the hand? You're a smart guy. Anyways, excuse me if I want to be absolutely sure that we got our asses covered. You're excused. What are we doing? We're taking a load of product off of some Russians the enchiladas have been dealing with. You was helping those Irish idiots cause some beef between the enchiladas and their Albanian muscle. 
Since that little love affair ended, they've been getting this Russian guy to supply them with sea. We just got the heads up that a shipment has arrived in Liberty City by boat. That's what the talk about the docks was. Exactly. We're taking the sea off the Russians so they can't deliver it to the Anzalotis. Sounds straightforward. We take the coke so that the Russians and the Anzalotis have a fully go. Then we make some... All right, this is the truck. a lot of sugar. But that ain't the only reason why we're taking this truck. Some of my boys stole it from the enchiladas this morning. It's the one the Russians are expecting to come pick up the seat. We should be able to turn up and have them loaded up for us. Then we drive away, no questions asked. I don't know if anyone will give away a load of coke without asking any questions. Even the Russian coke runners ain't that stupid. Yeah, sure, this is just plan A. It's the one Jimmy P worked at. You and me know it ain't gonna work, and that the only way we're gonna be able to leave that place with the sugar is if all the Russians in there are dead. So why don't we use a more subtle approach? Not just drive right into the middle of it. Because these is the orders, and we gotta follow them. That's the way things work. You ain't gonna be happy about everything you get told to do, are you? You're the boss. It ain't like I'm working for free. No, you ain't, and I ain't either. That's why we gotta at least try to do what we're told to do. You're gonna learn that there ain't much in this life that you've got control of. Whether you're putting yourself in harm's way because that's the way the skipper wants it done, or you're staying away from your kids because of a stupid court order and a malicious bitch of an ex-wife. There ain't that much control in anything. I've been around long enough to know that there are some things that we don't have a choice about. But there's other times where you got to look at something and make a decision for yourself. I can't follow every order I've given. Yeah, well, maybe you're right. Maybe you ain't. I don't know. This is it. Keep a cool head and everything should be fine. Killing is wrong. Like stealing food. But you do it if you don't have money. <laughs> hey, buddy, we're here to pick up the shipment. I don't speak English. Fuck off. Hey, amigo, let's make this easy. I just want to give the stuff to my boss and go home. I don't let anyone in here until I get the word. There's something wrong about you. Get out of the truck real
docks in North Holland. Move out. You handled yourself real good back there. Kept your head. That's a valuable trait. Thank you. See you later. the heroin? Mostly. Right, okay. It is okay. Fucking dick. Calm down. I'll see you later. Fuck you! What's wrong? I can't do it anymore. I can't do it! I really fucked up this time. I screwed over a jar. I'm gonna get killed. And I'm not really like this. No? What kind of heroin addicted prostitute are you like? I've got a nice family. I'm just fucked up. I've got to go home. Can you 
take me to the station? I've got a mom and a dad, and they're not so bad. I've got to go home. Where's home? The Midwest. I mean, it's pretty boring, but this is no life. I mean, look at me. I was a fucking cheerleader once. Hey. Come on. Let's go. I gotta get to Grand Eastern Terminal. This is a good move. How long have you been living on the streets? Ever since I got to this city. On my way here, I actually thought it was going to be different. I thought that in Liberty City, everybody was a somebody. Maybe some big producer was going to discover me on the street. Didn't go like that, did it? Well, some producer discovered me, but I didn't exactly end up in a Vinewood movie. I ended up with a two-bag-a-day habit. Videos of me doing shit I hadn't even heard of on the internet. Motherfucker. They pick us up when we get off the bus. Girls and guys. Wish I'd known that before I got here. I wish you had too. my favorite girl. We need a picture of Grace. Her pa thinks she's holed up with some guy. You don't believe we got her. Will you do it? Ma still upset. So I'm a portrait photographer now. Am I? Okay, I'll send you it on my phone. Thank you, Bryce Dawkins. I hope the cash for this didn't come out of city funds.
I don't talk business with the wife. Tell me about it. Smile for your daddy, Grace. Fuck you! Where you been? I've been jonesing for some fries for about five hours. Don't cause me no more trouble. Look up here. I can't wait here. Enjoy your freedom! Unless that guy is in his sick shit. Let's go off that. You as well. Tell me it ain't you as well, hey, you hey, Slavic hey. fuck! What are you talking about? Speak, you Balkan piece of shit! I'm done with you. Done with everyone. I'll go, but I ain't going quietly! Mr. Pegorino, I don't know what you're talking about. I came as quickly as I could. Fucking Anthony! What about Anthony? He was wearing a fucking wire! <sighs> that is a problem. My personal bodyguard wearing a wire! I raised that kid like he was my own. I beat him like he was my own son. When my son killed himself, Anthony became my son. Now this, the world is a cunt. Where is Anthony? Uh, I heard he's wearing a wire, so I freak out. I call him up. He's such a moron, he leaves his cell phone on. So we speak. After he's gone states, of course. I mean... Jesus, what a chump! <laughs> he freaks out on the phone, and I put the fear of God in him. I think maybe I've talked him out of it. Then, he has a goddamn heart attack on the phone. I'm thinking problem solved. He's dying right in front of my ears. But the asshole lived, and now he's in the Leftwood Hospital under heavy guard! Okay, okay. Of course, he's got you on the fucking tape, too! Of course. So you'll do this for me? So you want me to talk to him? I want you to whack him! And after that, I want you to kill all the other rats I surround myself okay. with! Okay, okay. Don't worry. <sighs> You're not like the other surgeons here. You don't have that, you know, god complex thingy. I guess it's my bedside manner. John, you're terrible. 
Anyone flat lines from here in, it's someone else's problem. Have a good night. Hey, you can't go past here. I don't think you will be seeing Anthony on the witness stand. I better not be seeing you up there neither. Or anybody else I know for that matter. This fucking fence. Turning everybody into rats. See you around, hey, Nico. Mumbola. You'll never be the man your mother was. This traffic is fucking bullshit. Excuse me. This is Alisa Peta. Sorry, I'm away from the phone at the moment. Hey, it's me. Uh, I was asleep. I'll be up around eight. Shit, I'm sorry, Kate. Ancelotti's daughter. What's it to you? It wouldn't be nothing, except I know that Ancelotti ain't gonna pay up. It's her pal, Gay Tony, that's coughing up with my damn ice. The diamonds that got robbed off you and the Libertonian, well, we took it off Tony in the first place, but it should've ended there. He must have robbed the diamonds off of Isaac. I got the money robbed off of me by a biker, remember? The diamonds were sold. Don't get small with me. Get me them diamonds off Tony. The Irish will be square with that, and you'll be square with me. We're already square.